Say my name. DeAndre. 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 The one and only. I mean, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. Oh my God! What in the world do we have here? Oh shoot! Yo, what in the world, man? Yo, what is going on, y'all? How y'all feeling out there today, man? Listen, it is the 28th of March right now, okay, that I'm recording this. So, uh, you know, I'll try to get this out to y'all today. I was just minding my business last night. I swear to you I was. I was about to go to sleep. It was like 11 something at night, close to about 12 o'clock. I'm in the bed with my wife we about to go to sleep next thing you know phone blowing up all i'm hearing is will smith did this to chris rock da 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 and i'm like what i'm i'm like me and jay we looked at each other like what the hell is going on like what do you mean like what and come to find out will smith done slapped the crap out of chris rock live on tv abc who don't got ABC? Like on ABC, on national television at the Oscar Awards, man. I was, I, I, I was like, yo, I went right to Twitter. I wanted to see what the hell was going on, what people was talking about. Now, when I got the phone call, cause uh, my mother-in-law, right? Shout out to her, love you very much. She called the both of us and she was like, yo, did you see what Will Smith did? And I'm like, we like, nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't see nothing. I turned it off. I looked at it for a little bit. But you know, that shit was boring and I just turned it off, right? And I went to sleep. Come to find out like maybe a 30, 40 minutes after we turned it off, come to find out this shit happened. So we just about to see what's going on. Uh, we went right to Twitter. I tried to see what, what happened and I saw, you know, a little bit of it, but yo, we just gonna get into it, man, and see what's up. Apparently Chris Rock has said some shit, you know, about Jada, you know, Will's wife, if y'all don't know. And, you know, Will wasn't really having none of that. So he went up and he slapped the crap out of him. <laughs> we about to see what was going on. But I actually did a little bit of background research before I actually started recording. Because, you know what I'm saying? I want to come on here and just, you know, give you the immediate, you know, I'm, I'm not like these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Just going to hop on it just because it's trending right now. Nah, man. Like, I'm talking about it because... Obviously, it's Will Smith and Chris Rock, two dudes that I actually are very big fans of. Will Smith, obviously, y'all know the Philly connection. Y'all know I'm from Philly, so come on. Now, he's one of the biggest stars that ever graced this planet, and he came out of this, you know, out of this city. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, come on, man. Like, Will Smith is like Philly's pride and joy. You know, he's a fresh prince. Come on. And Chris Rock, you know what I'm saying? I've been a fan of Chris Rock. You know, everybody hates Chris and a couple stand up shows that he's done. You know what I mean? Yo, I didn't realize that there, it was tension like that. You know, but I did a little bit of background research. We're going to get into it in a minute. It's not that long. So, you know, it's only a couple of seconds. This shit actually goes back to like 2016. All right. This shit goes back to 2016 when Chris Rock blasted Jada when Jada and Will and all these other people decided to boycott the 2016 Oscars. If y'all remember that, if y'all was paying attention to the Oscars back then, y'all would know that 2016, Jada and a whole bunch of other celebrities, black celebrities and everybody, they decided to boycott the shit entirely because no black people or people of color were nominated for any categories, I think for like two years in a row. And it got its own hashtag, Oscars So White. That was the hashtag. If you, if you, Look up that hashtag on Twitter right now. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, Jada, you know, posted a video back then basically saying how she was going to boycott and, you know, like, this is ridiculous. She basically big up Chris Rock, right? Because at the time, Chris Rock, he was hosting the Oscars back then. And he said a whole bunch of shit about Jada boycotting, saying, how you going to boycott when you weren't even invited? You know, you only mad because Will didn't get nominated for nothing and started talking trash about will and stuff like you know just joking right so chris rock then comes on here he says what he says and will smith just wasn't having it you know what i mean like everybody got their breaking point so we about to see what is going on if i could find my headphones because we about to get into this man we about to get into it because i'm seeing a lot of people that don't know what they're talking about just coming up on here just saying whatever and i ain't having that man you know what i'm saying so we gonna hop into it man 
smack it like on the video just for the culture, man. But we're going to get into this, man. Let's go. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, look at Jada's face right here, right? Look at Jada's face right here. She's not really feeling that joke, okay? Now, she, he said G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Now, if y'all see G.I. Jane, that's a movie where the chick in the movie, her hair, her hair looks just like Jada. She's bald. But for those of y'all that don't know, and I had to find this out, but Jada Pinkett actually has a condition called alopecia that, you know, deals with hair loss, right? And that's, you know, a big part of the reason why she decided to just cut her hair off. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't really feeling that shit. Now, you see Will over here laughing, right? Now, I see a lot of people online talking about, you know, how he, you know, he was laughing. So, you know, he, he must have been in on it or whatever. Or he must have liked it. No, nope, not really. You know, like, I've seen people get roasted and laugh it off. Just because they laughing don't mean it's not hurting. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I mean? Just because somebody laughing, especially at a, you know, a comedy show or whatever. If somebody's getting roasted and they laughing, don't mean that it's not affecting them. They just not going to let it show to everybody, right? So, you clearly see Jada really not feeling that joke. So, we're going to let it play out. <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Oh. All right, all right. Now, you see Chris Rock look down, right? So... Before he even looked down, and this is the point where Will is getting up out of his seat and he about to approach the stage, and Chris sees him coming up. Now, I wonder what the hell was going on in his mind at this point because I know, I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, oh shit. I wonder, like, because people was laughing, but to me, I don't think the joke was really that funny. Like I said, I'm a fan of him, but I don't think the joke was really that funny. Like, he had to, like, kind of get the crowd engaged to get them to laugh because... Otherwise, it would have just been a corny joke. And it still was a corny joke. It wasn't funny. And so, you know, Will Smith, now he's about to approach the stage. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and that shit was hard, too. That wasn't no... See, that, see, that wasn't no bullshit-ass slap. That was a hard slap. Like, he... He gathers for that, and he slapped the shit out of him. All right, he even admitted it in the clip. Like he slapped the fuck out of this man. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, y'all heard that, right? I'm going to play it again, just in case y'all niggas ain't hear that. Just in case y'all ain't hear that, man, because, uh, yeah. Uh-uh. See, everybody thought it was a game. Everybody, you hear everybody laughing and shit, giggling, thinking that this is, oh, you know, oh, wow, okay. Nah, mm-mm. This shit was real, bro. This was not fake. This was not scripted. Out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going. Ooh. Nah, that, that ain't fake. That ain't fake. You see that aggression? You see the way his nose flared up? You see his nose right here, man? You see his eyes? Nah, that's not a joke, bro. That's not scripted. That's not scripted. That's not scripted. He mad. He mad. And, and, and I'm going to let this finish up. But I'm going to tell you why he mad. I'm going to tell you why he's mad. Not just because of the obvious, but I'm going to tell you why. Going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. All right, so y'all y'all pretty much saw the clip, man. Y'all, It wasn't really that long. But they ended up carrying on the rest of the show. And... Like nothing ever happened, right? This is not the first time that, you know, Chris Rock, Jada Pinkett, and Will Smith have had some kind of beef. Like I said, I had to do a little bit of research to kind of figure out what was going on because I'm like, yo, ain't no way Will Smith just just heard that joke and then just decided to just get up and slap him. Like there had to have been something prior to this 
to to elevate it to this point, right? It's always more than more than it seems. So this actually goes back to 2016, like I was saying, with the whole Oscar so white shit. And when he Chris Rock was talking shit about Jada and you know how you know how you gonna boycott the Oscars when you weren't even invited and you know Will Smith, you know, all this stuff. They weren't there. Obviously, because they boycotted. They weren't there when that happened. Now, mind you, Chris Rock was the only black person up in the building, right? He was the one token black person in that whole building, okay? It was it was as white as snow, okay? <laughs> it was nothing but white people, all right? And it is what it is, right? The Oscars, the Academy, they have the right to, you know, promote and, and um, you know, nominate whoever they want to nominate, right? Got you. But there was no representation at all. And Chris Rock, he the only person there. And you would think that, you know, okay, cool. You're not going to boycott. But, bro, you didn't have to drag my name through the mud, especially when I was bigging you up for doing your job. And you decided to get on stage and clown me. So he got away with it because Will wasn't there and Jada wasn't there. But now Will and Jada sit in front row. And I don't think they forgot about what you said back in 2016. And then you mix in the fact that, you know, him and Jada going through their little shit or whatever. Everybody been clowning Will. And don't get me wrong. Jada don't help that shit at all. Jada doesn't help the situation at all. Okay. Like she be saying some really out of pocket stuff when it come to Will and talking about stuff that she really shouldn't be talking about. So she don't help the situation. But at the end of the day, Will Smith can only take but so much, right? I know a lot of people were kind of shocked at what he did. And I heard some other people kind of talking and saying like, oh, he ruined the night when he did it. No, all right? I don't think he ruined the night. I understand exactly why he did that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, joke or not, bro, you can't be coming up here joking about my wife, man. Making my wife the butt of your, of your joke in front of all these people when you previously did it however many years ago, and we weren't here to defend ourselves. Because I don't know if they met up after that 2016 incident. I don't know if they spoke or whatever. I doubt it. But, bro, this ain't, we not about to do that. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Chris Rock, this ain't the first time that, you know, I feel like in his whole comedy career, he's been pressed about a joke that or something that he said as far as a joke. This ain't the first time. So, now, I feel like it's, it's the first time in a minute that he's gotten this kind of pressure from somebody. But to get to this level of comedies and success and stuff like that, like you had to have gone through some shit, you know, whether somebody pressing you on stage or backstage or somebody coming at you saying something like, I'm sure this ain't the first time he's been pressed. So Will Smith slabbing him probably, it shocked him, but like he, <laughs> I don't think he, he expected that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think anybody expected that, you know, for sure. But when you get the context, you understand what happened. Now, I'm not advocating for anybody to go and just slap people willy nilly, right? But I think context is important here. Man, 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 that, that's fucking crazy. Now, he did, Will actually won an award after this, right? He was actually nominated for a movie, a movie role that he did, and he, um, he actually won. So we're gonna actually look at that right after this. I just wanted to show y'all this. Because, you know, if y'all haven't seen it already, you know, obviously you can see it here, but it's all over Twitter. You can check it out. But well, we're going to check out that acceptance speech because I actually want to see and hear what he said. Because it's like 50 50. Like, there's some people that's with Will and what he did, and there's some people that's, you know, completely against it. So I'm going to see what he said in his speech. Hold up. We back, man. This is, you know, some, uh, some video I could find of his uh, acceptance speech. Apparently, it's pretty emotional, man. So. On the thumbnail, I think he was crying. So we're going to see what's going on with this, man. Let's check it out. And the Oscar goes to... Wow. Hey, 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 see? I think I know exactly what Samuel Jackson said to me too. <laughs> cause, cause, listen, listen, y'all. I look. Sometimes you could just tell, right? Will he went up there, right? And he obviously knew like he was gonna have to answer for that, right? Cause, like I said, 
that slap happened before this. So he knew if he won, he was gonna have to he was gonna have to be like, all right, yo, you know what I'm saying? But Samuel Jackson, he probably was like, yo, that was a good hit. <laughs> I'm telling you, he said something like that, like, yo, that was a good hit. You know what I'm saying? I would have did the same thing or something like that. Like, you know, just look, just peep at how he like when he coming up, like how he was was hit. <laughs> How he dapped him up. La, 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 la. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, for King Richard. That's what it was. Ain't that some shit, right? Ain't that ain't that crazy, right? How they just come full circle like that, you know? In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Anjanu Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. Mm. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people uh. and to protect people and to be a river to my people. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take Abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. Man, bro, this shit. Richard Williams. And what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Mm, man, man, yo, ain't that the fucking truth, man? Yo, I'm gonna say this, yo. Cause I yo, I know we got like maybe like three more minutes, man. And I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it finish, bro. But yo, y'all don't realize like Denzel and Will Smith are actually very close. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people may not know that, but yes, they're very, very close. Matter of fact, Denzel is actually his mentor, you know. Um, Will Smith talks about him all the time, you know, and he he gave him some words of advice. And actually, I actually found out before I started recording that Denzel's actually in support of what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like it, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. That's his man. That's his man. You know what I mean? That's his guy. So, you know, it is what it is. But, I, yo, y'all need to hear that shit again. Hold up. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. That's a fact. It's like, I want to be a vessel for love. I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena. I just spit. I hope they didn't see that on TV. Um, <laughs> I want to say thank you to Come Venus on, man. And Serena and the entire Williams family for entrusting me with your story. 
That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. Um, I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, This is a beautiful moment, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and, and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and Demi and Anjanu and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, right. Yeah, man. Real talk, yeah. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. Um, to my mother, um, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me. Yeah. Uh, to to my mother, um, she didn't want to come out. She was had her knitting friend. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching. <laughs> <laughs> Philly. <laughs> <Watch it with>. <laughs> 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 Um, being able to love and care for my mother, my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Uh, thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment. And thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine, the entire Williams family. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, Hoping Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, man. Oh, man. Man, 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 yo, that's crazy, man. That was a beautiful speech. Um, and I think that that was a beautiful way of incorporating what had just transpired literally right before that into his original speech. Cause you know, they all have speeches, right? Like just in case they win, they come prepared with a speech, right? Some people just pull out the paper, some people memorize it, whatever. So for him to incorporate what just happened and still make it a beautiful speech and a teaching moment and stuff like that i thought that was beautiful man and that's why man that's why he is looked at in the way that he's looked at because he's just so motivational and i may be a little biased in my take man i'm not even gonna be uh, you know beat around the bush with that but i think that you know what i'm saying chris rock was definitely wrong you know what i'm saying for doubling down on the disrespect you know what i mean uh trying to joke and it just bro everybody's not playing right everybody's not joking you know like especially somebody like will you know and i think a lot of people feel for him because everybody got social media everybody got ears and eyes and knows what's been going on with will you know what i'm saying especially with will and jada right so everybody knows but i don't want to take up too much time with this video man i feel like this video is hella long but man you know that was a beautiful beautiful speech and you know he put a nice bow on the on on all of that shit you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you know should he have gone on national television and did it no but to be honest the academy know better than not to bring will smith back like come on man he's, he's a hollywood star you know i mean obviously all the people up in there are but like will smith is on a different category like you can't but will smith is just different and y'all know it okay like come on man you what you you just gonna not invite will back fuck out of here you know what i'm saying but anyway um yeah man that's gonna do it you know that is gonna do it and um you know i'm happy that he won you know i figured he would win 
you know but I'm, I'm happy that uh, they actually you know gave him the award and um, I thought that he handled it as best he could you know what I mean I don't think he should have went on TV and slapped him I think he should have probably slapped him backstage you know what I'm saying but um, I do want to say one thing before I go though I promise notice how he apologized to everybody else except for Chris <laughs> He apologized to everybody else except for the one dude he actually hit. And that was Chris because he just like, bro, he said it earlier in the speech. You you know, in this business, you got to deal with people disrespecting you and you got to, you know, take it on the chin and just, you know, and he's like, yo, people have a breaking point, man. And he, you know, happened to have his breaking point last night man but i just wanted to kind of get my take on this man let me know what you thought about this down below in the comments bro jeez man that shit was crazy that, that you hear that slap that slap was like that came from the hip that came from the the thrust jesus christ man stay lit believe in god believe in yourself man and everything else will work out for itself man Peace.